Hi guys. So we are doing another declutter and I just cleaned all of my brushes, like literally all of my brushes. So this, like I have brand new brushes and by the way, I'm a freelance makeup artist. So I'm going to have more, more brushes than usual, but I do want to declutter some of these because I have a niece who is into makeup and I think I want to give her some and then uh, some of my family and if it's a good brush then I may declutter and um, actually if it's new or if it's newly used I may go ahead and put it on the block sale so I wanted to get through all of my face brushes this is only face y'all this is not even this is not even what I have in terms of my eye brushes so I want to get through these and I kind of know how I'm going to do it this I'm giving you an overview just because these are miscellaneous these over here are all of my Luxie brushes I'm putting these in categories because some of these are in sets and I don't want to break up the set um, if I want to go ahead and declutter I will but um, I'm going to keep my absolute favorite and then at the end I'm going to probably do a favorites video so uh, let's just jump right in. I think I like this better. Um, I think so. I think that's how I'm gonna do. It. But some of y'all wanted to know my blush, my brush declutter. So I may. I'm not sure where I'm. I'm gonna put this on the main channel or my blog channel. I'll ask you guys, and you can let me know. And you would have decided because I would have put it on my videos. So. I'm gonna sit here and we are gonna go through this. So, I can tell you, this is gonna make it a lot easier because I think my face brushes are going to be the easy ones. I think my eye brushes are gonna be the hard ones to get through. So, let's go through category in terms of what I like, what I don't like, what's a set, what's not. So, this odd one, is actually a part of a Sonia Kashuk set and I actually have the other brushes um, I have the other brushes somewhere else so I'm actually going to uh, keep this one because it is a part of a set and I'm probably going to when I get like a makeup room or something that'll probably be in that set because it's absolutely beautiful it looks like art so I'll be keeping that okay the next set we have are the real techniques y'all see that these are some really affordable great brushes and I'm gonna tell you right now these right here this expert I this is the expert expert face brush and the buffing brush I'm keeping these I'm keeping these under eye setting these are amazing I like these and I have two of each one two for my kit and one for my kit and one for myself so I'm keeping these let's make a decision on these I'm gonna keep this because this is amazing for concealer to me pat patting and concealer but I think I can let go of this because I really I have enough chisel so I'm gonna let go of this okay next these are all my Tarte brushes and I can tell you right now I am NOT letting go of any of these this is amazing for bronzer and chiseling um, it's not quite dry yet completely dry but I love this this mimics the Eda brush by NARS this is a wonderful blush brush I have a few of these and I actually have a dupe I remember Kathleen lights talking about I cannot find a brush that's like this well I have a couple of these that's in my collection and I'm gonna show you dupes to this but um, this is a fan brush I'm absolutely gonna keep this I got this from I think a boxy charm I love fan brushes some people don't and this is my all-time favorite concealer brush like this pats in concealer and blends it perfectly under the eye so I'm gonna keep all of these let's move on to BH cosmetics cuz I can tell you right now that I love this brush this is like it's so old but I think they call this a, um I don't even know if they 
what they call this but this is amazing for setting the under eye it is a perfect size I feel like this versus like a larger fluffier brush would definitely do it this brush um I really I mean you could buff in things a little bit smaller but I think I have a lot of brushes like this so I I am gonna let this one go Okay, so the next brushes, these are crown brushes. This one I got from a BoxyCharm, this large fan brush. I absolutely love it. It is a dream for bronzer or contour. I love it. I love brushes like this too because you can apply blush really well. And this is a fan brush. Now, I am going to keep these two and uh, I'm going to let it go of these two. These are pretty old, and I think that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to let go of these and keep these two. Okay, so moving on to Royal and Lane Nickel, you can see that I've already used this one. That is amazing for carving out or chiseling, so I'm going to keep this one. I'm actually going to keep all of these. This is a part of a set that goes um, into my... This is an amazing brush, and these are super soft. Oh my goodness, I'm going to keep all of these. This one pats in concealer really well. I like a denser brush and where you can't see the streaks. And I'm just keeping this. Um, this one is a really good blush brush. So you have the powder, a really good concealer. I, I just really like. I think Royal and Lang Nickel are not exposed enough. They are so an underrated brush brand to me. And I really do like these. Let's talk about Sephora. Oh, no, this is not Sephora. This is Morphe. Okay, uh, pretty much I'm going to keep all of these except this one. This one, um, it traps, I want to say, oil in there. And it's kind of big to like pat under the under eye. It can blend in really well, but I feel like this one doesn't really have a functionality in my collection. So I'm going to let this one go. Let me show you the other ones. This one is really great for buffing and foundation, whether it's powder or liquid or cream. This one is an amazing blush brush. Jacqueline Hill talked about this and it is, she's so right. Um, I love using this one to set my under eye. I love this for highlight. This is the Morphe 150. I love this for highlight too. These are just two different shapes. I love this. Um, this one is great for bronzer. I use that one a lot. And then this one, again, is great for blush. So, And this is a part of a travel set, by the way. So I'm going to keep all of these. Yes, and I love this. This is super duper dense. And I love this for painting on creams and liquids. So it is a Sephora 47 brush. These are e.l.f. I'm going to let go of this one. This is an old brush and it even won't clean correctly anymore. So I'm going to let go of this. I'm going to keep both of my stippling brushes. I absolutely love these. These are a small stippling. And even though this has some paint, these are still good. I love using this for my setting my under eye. It's great for powders and cream. And I'm going to let go of this one. This one was a dollar, but it I have some better powder brushes. So I'm going to let go of this. Okay, I'm going to keep all of my, these are Sedona Lace brushes. These are amazing. Another brand that you hear about and then it goes away. Um, yeah, this one is great for blush. This one is great for bronzer. I feel like this one is great for uh, buffing liquid or powder. And then this one is great for chiseling um, a good contour and getting really precise on the nose. So I'm going to keep all of these. I am going to keep all of my NYX Pro brushes. This one I used today, I fell back in love with this one. This is amazing for bronzer. This one is great for bronzer and blush, um, more so bronzer. And then this is an amazing, an amazing foundation brush and then painting on. These are great for mask, by the way. If you can't figure out what to do with these, these are great for masks, so I'm gonna keep these. These are like those artiste dupes. I am going to keep 
these two, the two larger ones. I really do enjoy these. I'm gonna let go of this um, this brush. It's The reason why it looks like this is because it's not completely dry too. So it's nothing wrong with it, but I'm gonna keep these two. This is a brush I got from BoxyCharm. I love it. I have the lid up top, but um, I love it because you can use it as a powder brush. You can shorten it and use it as a blush brush, or you can use it, you know, to buff out concealer or something so I'm gonna keep this because it's this great for travel oh this is another crown brush but I'm keeping that because um, I love dense brushes like that so so much functionality and I love that this has a little handle where you can hold it like that and yeah love crown this is my fan brush by Mac I'm going to keep this love this I usually keep my fan brushes because I rather use a lighter hand than a heavier one so I'll keep those all. Let's go through these Luxie brushes because nine times out of ten, I'm going to keep them. This is a slanted, like an angle. This is called the Flat Angled Blender. Keeping that one. This is the Round Top Blender. Going to keep this one. Love that uh let's see any more blending yes this is the e no 534 this is the angled top buffer keeping that one love this one this is the pro precision face that one presses powder into the uh or liquids into the skin perfectly this one is the precision angle contour keeping that one these are amazing for setting the under eye. These are the Luxie Precision Foundation. You can blend foundation and use those too, but I'm keeping these for sure. That's another one of those. I keep it. Now, remember I told you that I had a dupe to those Tarte uh, blushes, uh, blush brushes. These are it. These are the Pro precision tapered brush and so I love these there's no way I'm parting with these these are some of my favorite for applying blush and even highlight you can dual for that so love that now let me see okay so these are both for blush so I'm gonna keep both of these this one's a little bit more fluffier I don't know what happened but um, it's okay gonna keep these as a matter of fact I'm gonna end up keeping all of these because I love this powder brush that's and these are two more to set the under eye this one's a little bit more tapered you can see that has a point and then this one is really good for blush too but it's a tapered highlighter and then this one is a precision foundation and then this is an angled a large angled brush so keeping all of my Luxie brushes are you crazy those are amazing Keeping my It Cosmetics, this is the Heavenly Luxe Airbrush Powder and Bronzer Brush. Amazing. I love big brushes like this. So keeping that. Let's move on to miscellaneous. Now, let's talk about the one that I said in a previous video that I hated. Um, because I did a first impression and I realized there then that I should give this one a second chance. This one rotates. It's by Doll 10, and I want to give this another chance. I feel like I did not use it correctly, and sometimes that happens in first impressions, and I feel like when it comes to tools, a lot of times it's the functionality of it and if you can use the product um, more than once. Some products, it does take practice, so um, I want to give this a second chance. This is a Josie Marin number 005. I want to keep this. I feel like um, I love stippling or dual fiber brushes, so I'm gonna keep this. This is a Bare Minerals. This is their perfecting face. Uh, you put the serum de in the in the inside and blend it around. So far, I've been liking this brush. The Eco Tools powder brush. I love this. It is so amazing. I feel like these are really good brushes that I hear every now and then about Eco Tools, but not a lot of people. So, love that. 
This is a julep brush and this is amazing for bronzer. I'm keeping this. This one, I don't know. This is probably a crown brush. Um, it says Beauty Basics, but I'm going to keep it because this is amazing for contour, bronzer, blush. This is one of my favorite blush brushes. It's by a brand called Vasanti, I want to say. This is so amazing. It is the perfect blush brush for me. Like, it is the perfect size. So I really enjoy, enjoy that. Most of these I'm going to keep. Let's talk about ones that I'm probably going to let go. I'm going to let go of these two. I got these off of Amazon. There's nothing really wrong with these. It's just that I have so many and I do want to declutter some. So I'm going to get rid of these. I'm actually going to keep this brush. This is a villain's a brush from the Disney. This is from a Disney collection, but it has a very, it's like a small angled this is perfect for foundation that is um, very liquidy and it's great for chiseling out a carving out and chiseling. It's just I, I want to um, I, I have a lot like this, but it's the size that I really like. And so it's a little bit smaller than the ones that I usually have. So I'm going to keep that. Um, this fan brush by Laura Mercier. It's a small one. I'm going to keep it and put it in my travel set because I do have a travel set, but I don't have any. This is so cute and perfect, though. So I'm going to keep this. This is a Kabuki bronzer brush by Vita Liberata. I did declutter the bronzer, but I love this brush because it's short um, and I can, you know, take, put it, throw it in my purse. This is a Makeup Forever. This is a straight and wavy 122 brush. I really do enjoy this. It's great for finishing powders and lightly dusting the skin. The face is beautiful. These are the ones that are kind of questionable to me. I'm going to give the NARS a second chance. For some reason, I am not a fan of this brush, but I want to give it one more chance to just see. Um, you know, I don't know. This should be easy, but I'm going to try that one. It's an expensive brush. This one uh, I got off of Amazon. I'm going to part with this one just because I have so many brushes like this. And so we are done with the face brushes. I did not. These are all the ones I got rid of, y'all. But you got to remember that I do freelance and these I am... I am going to separate my freelance brushes versus the brushes that I use on a daily basis. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.